There's a whole lot of smart scales out there on the market that say that you can have them for your at-home use. And people are wanting to know, what is my body composition? But the truth is, not all BIA or ways to measure body mass index are going to be accurate. This video is for the people that want to nerd out about all cool technology that exists for health and fitness and understand the why behind the different technologies, what makes them better, and what ones might be more useful for you in terms of either A, your long game, or B, accuracy. All right, let's start with the gold standard, which is DEXA. This stands for Dual Energy X-Ray Absorptometry. So as the name suggests, it is using X-rays in order to assess your body composition. So if you want to go someplace and get your body composition assessed, you're going to want to try to go for a DEXA scanner for the most accuracy. These are, however, as you can imagine, highly expensive. So they wouldn't be suitable for at-home use unless you're extremely rich. Maybe Elon Musk has one. If he watches this video, let us know. Do you have a DEXA scanner? Then there's BIA, bioelectric impedance analysis, which as the name suggests, shoots electrical impulses through your body in order to assess your body composition. Depending on how slow or fast the electrical impulses are able to pass through your body determines basically what your tissue type is. Was that a fat cell it passed through? Was it a muscle cell? Was it organ tissue? Was it bone mass? All these things can be extrapolated upon for some types of applications to be able to see what your body composition may be. However, not all BIA is equal. There's three main forms of BIA. There's single frequency BIA, which is most commonly seen in your at-home scales where you just step on it with your feet only. Those are generally regarded as pretty inaccurate. However, in the long term, you can use them to see patterns, patterns of change in your body fat percentage, lean muscle mass, but you generally shouldn't just trust them for accuracy. There is research to indicate that they're pretty accurate in assessing your weight, though, but many of them underestimate your body fat percentage or even overestimate or underestimate your lean muscle mass, depending on the brand and style. Then there's multi-frequency BIA or MFBIA. These scales are a bit better in determining your intracellular or extracellular water content. So when you're comparing a multi-frequency versus a single frequency BIA, the single frequency BIA are usually gonna be really confused on whether your body's housing a bunch of water or if it's actually body fat percentage. So for this reason, multi-frequency type BIA scales are a little bit better in terms of water content specifically. However, the best and most closely associated to the gold standard DEXA is the direct segmental multi-frequency BIA, which sounds complicated, but it's literally just going to assess each segment of your body with multiple frequencies of electricity that shoot through them. These direct segmental forms of BIA are when you step on a plate and you have contact with your feet and you're holding on to something with your hands, it's connecting to multiple areas, sending multi-frequencies through each segment of your body. As I stated, comes in close correlation, according to research articles out there, to the DEXA scanner. But it also comes with a massive price tag. One of the ones in scientific research that has been compared directly to DEXA is the in-body, the 770 version and the 970 version. The 770 is $21,000. So it's definitely more accurate than any other conveniently accessible in-home BIA scale. It just depends on if you can afford $21,000 for an at-home scale or not. But don't worry, InBody's not the only one out there. There are two others that I identified. There's a brand called Mediana, and then there's a brand called Bodivis, but both of them are pretty pricey as well. So if you're a trainer or you have your own gym, you may want to consider these direct segmental multi-frequency BIA options because their accuracy is pretty closely tied to DEXA. I'll drop the link to the research studies comparing the DEXA to the, the InBody in particular in the link in the description below. So to summarize, Absolute least accurate are the single frequency. Those are the ones you'll find on Amazon for pretty cheap, your Renfo, your Withings, because these are all going to estimate your body composition based on algorithms that they claim to be proprietary, but it's basically just taking into consideration your age, your biological sex, your activity, your weight, those kind of things. The most accurate BIA is, as mentioned, something that actually measures each limb of your body separately and is comparative to the DEXA scanner. But the problem is with the BIA scale being about $21,000, you could also just get a version of the DEXA as well. I have another entire video going through Renfo versus Withings, which are a lot of scales that 
my clients use and then other trainers use for their clients, but it's mainly to track the long game, the trends along the way for body fat percentage and muscle mass. Check out that video to know more about basic use cases for people to be able to use them in their own home, such as yourselves, and not have to spend $21,000 just for a scale in your home. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check the link in the description for citations, as well as links to certain products and other resources. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe, share with your friends, family members, and if you're a trainer watching this, other trainers that this information might help. Thank you so much for watching. And always remember, your health is an investment, not an expense. I'll see you in the next one.